In this video, I want to show you guys an alternate way of writing validation rules with Formic. This alternate way depends on a library called yup. So let's first install that. In the terminal, run the command yarn add yup. Once the installation completes, import it at the top. Import star as yup from yup. Now what we are not going to do is understand how yup works. Instead, we are just going to see how to rewrite our validate function with yup. Once you understand what yup can do, you can then explore more on your own what yup is capable of. Alright, let's get started. For our first step, we need to write a validation schema object. This is pretty much what yup is for. Object schema validation. So after the validate function, I'm going to create a new constant called validation schema. To this, we assign a yup object schema. So yup dot object. To this, we need to pass in an object which contains the rules for each of our form fields. Our first field is name, which is a required field. The way we specify this validation with yup is name yup dot string dot required. And the error message to display if required field validation fails is the string required. Similarly, for email, which is our second property in this object, we mention yep, dot string dot email, and the error message to show is invalid email format. And if that passes, we also check that it is a required field. Error message again is required. Again, for channel, we have the same as the name validation. Yep, dot string dot required. And that is our step one, defining our validation object schema. The second step is to pass this schema into our use formic hook. So I'm going to comment out this validate function and instead specify the validation schema property. This is going to be automatically equal to our validation schema object through the ES6 shorthand syntax. All right, let's save the file and go to the browser and test this out. Yarn start. On page load, there are no error messages. I clear out the name and click outside, required message is shown and do the same with other fields as well. Works perfectly fine. In fact, let me quickly change this to required with an exclamation sign to make sure validation schema is what is being applied and not the validate function. Clear it out and you can see required with an exclamation mark. And if we enter an invalid email format, that works as well. So this is form validation using the yup library. Again, to know what to write as the validation rule, you will need to go through the yup library. The documentation is pretty good, so you definitely won't have any difficulties with understanding how to specify validation rules. And once you get the hang of it, it is definitely worthwhile going with validation schema instead of writing your own custom validate function. All right, with that, we have got a good understanding of the three core parts when dealing with forms using Formic. We now know how to handle form state, handle form submission, and also handle form validation. And I hope that now you feel Formic does simplify managing forms in React. 
But what if I tell you that this is not even my final form? What if I told you that Formic can simplify our code to an even greater extent? Let's learn more about that in the upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.